Never ever be afraid to make some uh, make, make some noise and getting good trouble, necessary trouble. That is one of the quotes from an iconic voice in the fight for equality. Representative John Lewis died from pancreatic cancer on Friday at the age of 80. The nation is remembering the congressman's long and storied career. Cuddle Lunch Brady Mallory shows you his influence in the community and how one man says we can carry his legacy. The future of our democracy is at stake. Representative John Lewis served in Congress for 33 years until the day he died. But many people know him as a civil rights leader, someone who carried the baton for racial equality. That's one of the living legends, or was one of the living legends and, um, uh, that we were able to look to. But we want to be free now. Lewis was an original freedom writer and a close friend of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Lewis was best known for leading 600 protesters in the 1965 Bloody Sunday March across the Edmund Pettus Bridge in Selma, Alabama. Lewis was knocked to the ground and beaten by state troopers. Televised images forced the country's attention on racial oppression. When I think about Selma, I mean, honestly, it's hard for me not to think about it and be emotional because... South Dakota African American History Museum board member Vani Harari says Lewis's civil rights work and voting rights legislation directly affect people of color living so, today. Absolutely, without question. And, and if anybody of color is walking around not knowing that, they need to know that. Harari says he sees Lewis in the young people who are fighting for racial equality and says it's up to them to get into the good trouble that Lewis often talked about. The whole point is, is that the fact that people have ignored these things requires that somebody interrupt your regularly scheduled programming, and it's going to be uncomfortable, and that's the good trouble. Representative John Lewis's accomplishments helped us get to where we are today, but Harari says Lewis's legacy is in our hands now. We want to be able to launch where they land. And so I don't want to go through the same thing that he went through. I want to be able to take the baton from what he did and move it forward so that his legacy uh, could be done honor. Brady Mallory, Kelloland News. Lewis was arrested more than 40 times protesting segregation.